With over 400 million monthly visitors, Pinterest is an excellent source of free traffic for earning money through affiliate marketing. To start receiving this traffic, you need to create and set up a Pinterest account. Create an image for a pin, for example, like this one. Publish it on Pinterest and add a link to the promoted website. Repeat, repeat, repeat. The more pins you create, the more traffic and money you can get. However, if you choose to handle everything manually, the process will become incredibly lengthy and monotonous. What if we automate this process using Python and ChatGPT and generate thousands of beautiful images for pins in just a few minutes? And today, I'll teach you how to do it and even give you the ready to use code for free. So even if you're a complete beginner in programming, by using the provided code and following the instructions, you'll be able to generate thousands of images to earn money on Pinterest. If you find this video interesting and useful, in the next video, I'll teach you how to automatically upload the generated images to Pinterest, thus fully automating the process of gaining traffic from Pinterest. So. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. This video will be divided into three parts. In the first part, we will generate texts for our pins using ChatGPT and store them in a spreadsheet. Next, we will prepare backgrounds for our pins using Canva. In the third part, we will write code in PyCharm and generate 100 images each for two different niches. So let's get started. Part one. Generating texts for images in ChatGPT. To create prompts in ChatGPT, start by deciding on the theme for your pins. This depends on the product you will be promoting. For the sake of example, let's consider a trending niche in affiliate marketing, keto weight loss. Now we can compose the prompt. Go to ChatGPT and ask it to provide us with 10 themes for pins related to the chosen topic. Next. Ask for 10 ideas for each item on the list. Then, request to pack all the items into a table. Finally, ask for 5 very short and useful tips for each idea. In the same prompt, ask to organize the data in a table so that the tips for each idea are displayed in a row. After generating the data, copy it from the table to Google Sheets in the first column of the table, fill in the missing values, and then export the file in CSV format. Rename the file as data CSV. We will need this file for the third step. The data collection for 100 pins is complete. Let's move on to step number two. Part two, preparing backgrounds in Canva. At this stage, all you need to do is go to the Canva website and enter Pinterest pins in the template search bar. The recommended image size for Pinterest is 1000 by 1500 pixels, 2 to 3 aspect ratio. So look for templates with this format. Find a template that suits your niche. Then proceed to edit it and remove any unnecessary elements. Leave only the background. Then save the image in PNG format. Prepare and save several such images for variety. From 5 to 10 should be sufficient. We will need them in the next step. Part 3. Writing code in PyCharm. If you don't have PyCharm installed, go to the JetBrains.com website and download the community version of PyCharm for your operating system. Run the downloaded file and follow the standard installation procedure, leaving everything as default. Next, Create a new project named PinterestBot in PyCharm. Leave the interpreter as default and ensure that a new virtual environment is created. Within the project, create two folders, data and ready. In the data folder, we'll store the Pinterest account data for automating pin uploads. We will need this in the next video. In the ready folder, we'll store backgrounds, fonts, and the final generated images for each individual project. Next, Create a folder named Keto inside the Ready folder. In the Keto folder, create a subfolder named Assets. Inside the Assets folder, create two more subfolders named BG and Fonts. Move the background files we created in Step 2 into the BG folder. 
If the background is light and the title should be written in dark color on it, add blacked at the beginning of the file names for such backgrounds. Next, go to the Google Fonts website and download the Oswald font. This font will be used for our titles. Then find and download the Chalkboard SA font. This font will be used for the main text of our pins. Rename the font files as title font and post font respectively, and then move them to the fonts folder. Copy the data CSV file that we prepared in the first stage to the Keto project folder. Great. Now let's proceed with installing the necessary packages. For our work, we will need the following libraries. Pillow. The Python Imaging Library adds image processing capabilities to your Python interpreter. Pillmoji. Pillmoji is an emoji renderer for Pillow. To install the packages, open the terminal and ensure that your virtual environment is activated. Then, run the following commands. Make sure to install this version of Pillow that will keep the code I provide compatible with future updates of the library. Next, create two Python files. Constance PY and main PY. In the Constance PY file, write the following code. Here, we import the path class from the pathlib module and define constants that hold the absolute path to the project directory, as well as the paths to the assets and ready folders. In the main PI file, write the following imports. After the imports, define the following variables. Next, Create a conditional statement if name, inside which we call the open data function and pass the folder name of our project as an argument. Next, declare three functions open data, get font, and create image. Open data. This function takes a folder name argument that we will pass when calling the function. In this function, we open the data CSV file, read its contents, and for each row, we call the createImage function, passing the data from the row and the folder name. Get font. This function is used to retrieve the desired font with a specific size. CreateImage. This is the main function for image generation. Here we create images using the pillow library based on the provided row and folder name data, and then save the generated images. Now we can run our code. Great. The images are being generated and saved in the images folder of our project. Now let's generate images for a new project. To do this, create a new folder in the ready folder, copy the assets folder with backgrounds and fonts into it, and place new backgrounds in the BG folder. Gather the texts for the new project using ChatGPT and save them in a data CSV file which you place in the project folder. Assign the variable project folder the name of the folder with the new project and run the code. That's it. You can take the ready to use code from the link in the description and start using it, or you can modify it according to your needs. In the next video, we will learn how to automatically upload the generated images to Pinterest to drive free traffic and earn through affiliate marketing. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button.